Buckle up, space explorers, as we first dive into the question, what is the universe made of? The universe, this vast expanse that stretches out far beyond what our eyes can see, might seem like a whole lot of nothing at first glance. But that's where things get interesting. Most of the universe isn't made up of stars, or galaxies, or even the black void of space. Instead, it's filled with something we can't see or touch, but we know it's there because of how it affects everything around it. This mysterious stuff is called dark matter and dark energy. Now, dark matter and dark energy make up about 95% of everything out there. But what about the rest? Well, that's where things start to get a little more familiar. The remaining 5% is made up of regular matter, the stuff we can see and touch. Most of this is hydrogen gas, the simplest and lightest element in the universe. There's also a good bit of helium, and just a sprinkle of heavier elements. All these elements come together to create the stars, planets, and galaxies that light up the night sky. So while the universe might seem empty, it's full of fascinating stuff that scientists are still trying to understand. Now, let's answer a question that has intrigued humans for centuries. Are we alone in the universe? The vastness of space with its countless galaxies and planets makes the possibility of life beyond Earth an intriguing prospect. Our scientists are like cosmic detectives using their telescopes to search for exoplanets. That's a fancy name for planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. These exoplanets are like distant cousins to our own planet, and we're on a mission to find out if any of them might be suitable for life. Life, as we know it, needs certain conditions to survive. We need water to drink, air to breathe, and a comfortable temperature range. So, our cosmic detectives look for exoplanets that might have these conditions. They search for signs of liquid water, a habitable temperature range, and an atmosphere that could protect life from harmful space radiation. However, despite our best efforts, we haven't found any definitive proof of extraterrestrial life yet. But that doesn't mean we stop looking. The universe is a gigantic place, and we've barely scratched the surface. Each new discovery brings us one step closer to answering this captivating question. Hold on to your seats because our next question takes us into the realm of science fiction. Can we travel through time? Well, let's dive into the possibilities and see what science has to say. First, there's the concept of wormholes. These are like shortcuts through space and time. Theoretical tunnels that connect two different points in space-time. Imagine folding a piece of paper in half and poking a hole through it. The hole would be a wormhole, connecting two points that were once far apart. Then, there's time dilation. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time slows down the faster you move. So, if you were to hop on a spaceship and zoom around at near the speed of light, time would pass slower for you than for the folks back on Earth. When you return, you'd find everyone else has aged more than you have. You've effectively traveled into the future. But as exciting as these ideas are, they come with some pretty big challenges. For starters, we don't even know if wormholes exist, let alone how to make one. And as for a time dilation, we're still far from building spaceships that can reach anywhere near light speed. So, while time travel remains a fascinating concept, we're still a long way from hopping into a time machine. Next up, let's explore the mysterious and captivating world of black holes. Black holes are not holes in the typical sense, but rather regions in space-time where gravity is so intense that nothing, absolutely nothing, can escape its pull. Imagine gravity so powerful that even light, the fastest thing in the universe, can't outrun it. That's the kind of gravity we're talking about. At the heart of a black hole is its event horizon, a sort of boundary line that marks the point of no return. Once you cross the event horizon, there's no coming back. It's like a cosmic one-way street leading only towards the black hole's singularity, a point where all our understandings of physics seem to collapse. Now you may be wondering what role do these cosmic oddities play in our universe? Well, scientists believe black holes could be key players in the formation and evolution of galaxies. The immense gravity of supermassive black holes located at the centers of galaxies could help hold these vast cosmic structures together. 
Despite their ominous nature, black holes are not cosmic villains. They're fascinating celestial objects that challenge our understanding of the universe and push the boundaries of our knowledge. As we continue to study them, who knows what incredible insights they may reveal. Black holes might be mysterious, but their immense gravity and role in the universe make them an irresistible subject of study. Now let's venture beyond what our telescopes can see and ask, what is beyond the observable universe? The observable universe is all the cosmic wonders we can see, limited by the speed of light. The furthest galaxies we observe are about 13 billion light years away, their light having traveled to us since the dawn of time. But what lies beyond this cosmic horizon? The truth is we don't know. The universe could be infinite, stretching endlessly in all directions. In this case, there could be countless galaxies, stars and planets, some potentially mirroring our own, just waiting to be discovered. Alternatively, the universe might be finite, but unbounded. Imagine this as a sphere. If you start at one point and travel in a straight line, you would eventually end up back where you started, without hitting any walls. This is called a closed universe. An even more mind-bending theory is that the universe could have a shape we can't yet comprehend. Just like a two-dimensional being would struggle to understand a three-dimensional world, our three-dimensional minds might not be equipped to understand the true shape of the universe. The universe might have more secrets than we can fathom, but that's what makes exploring it so exciting. Our understanding of the cosmos is always expanding, just like the universe itself. And who knows, one day we might just uncover what lies beyond our cosmic horizon. Our next question takes us closer to home, or should we say our next potential home? Can we colonize Mars? Let's start with the good news. Mars, our red neighbor, is the most viable candidate for a future human outpost. Why? Well, Mars has a thin atmosphere and the potential for water ice. Yes, that's right. Scientists believe that beneath the Martian surface, there might be frozen water, which is a crucial resource for any human settlement. But don't pack your bags just yet. While Mars may seem inviting, it does come with its fair share of challenges. One of the biggest concerns is radiation exposure. Unlike Earth, Mars doesn't have a protective magnetic field, which means harmful cosmic rays can reach the surface and pose a significant risk to humans. Then, there's the Martian environment itself. It's harsh, to say the least. The temperatures can drop as low as minus 125 degrees Celsius, and the planet is constantly battered by dust storms. And let's not forget the immense distance between Earth and Mars. Even at their closest approach, they're still 54.6 million kilometers apart. That's a long, long journey, requiring substantial resources and time. Colonizing Mars might still be a dream, but with every new discovery, we're making it a more realistic possibility. So, keep dreaming, keep exploring, and who knows, maybe one day we'll call Mars our second home. For our final question, we're going back in time to the very beginning. How did the universe begin? Take a moment to imagine this. All of existence, everything you know, all the stars, galaxies, and vast space, all coming from a singular point. This is the concept of the Big Bang Theory, the leading explanation about how the universe began. Roughly 13.8 billion years ago, our universe was an extremely hot and dense point, almost incomprehensibly small. Then, in less than a blink of an eye, it started expanding. This wasn't just an explosion in space, but an explosion of space itself. From this colossal expansion, all the matter, energy, space, and even time itself came into being. As the universe cooled down, particles began to form and eventually coalesce into atoms, the building blocks of everything we see around us today. But remember, the Big Bang isn't about a bang in a place, but rather a bang everywhere. It's about how space itself expanded, creating the cosmic stage upon which galaxies, stars, planets, and ultimately, we ourselves could exist. The birth of the universe is a complex and fascinating topic, and scientists are still piecing together the cosmic puzzle. The Big Bang Theory is our best understanding so far, but the universe is a vast mystery. 
always ready to surprise us with new findings and discoveries. So let's keep exploring, let's keep asking questions, and let's keep dreaming about the cosmos.